Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we're looking at the 5th grade concept of generating patterns. Specifically, we'll be looking at multiplicative patterns. We'll be doing it in 5 minutes or less. When we're looking at multiplicative patterns, we're looking at this type of equation here, y equals ax. What that simply means is we are going to multiply. And so let's take a look at a sample table. In third and fourth grade, you've probably looked at some input-output tables to where you generate some values for x, and then you do something to it. In this case, we're going to multiply. So let's take a look at a sample rule of times 2. Well, if you wanted to times 2 and you had some numbers here in our x table, what you would simply do would you would simply take your x and you would double it. You would multiply it by 2 and that would get you your y. And so if I take each of my x values and double it or multiply it times 2, I'm going to get 2, 4, 6, and 8. Well, if I wanted to write that in this format up here, what I would say was, would be y equals 2x. You see this a right here? a is the whole number that I'm going to multiply my x by. So in this case, that's my rule. I'm multiplying it by 2. And when you see it in this form right here, y equals 2x, whenever you have a number and a variable or an unknown right next to each other, it is automatically going to be multiply. So you don't necessarily need to write multiply, use a dot, or even use an x. Whenever you see a number, and a variable or an unknown represented by a letter next to each other that always means multiply. Let's take a look at another example. If I wanted to take a look at this pattern here, y equals 5x, well, I could do the same thing. This time I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to have my x values be a little bit more random. So I might try 3, 6, 7, and 12. And so this equation here means that I'm going to take my x value and remember whenever you see a whole number next to a variable or an unknown represented by a letter that always means multiply. So I'm going to take my x value and I'm going to multiply it by 5 and that is going to get me my y value. So each of these x's is going to be multiplied by 5. So 3 times 5 is going to be 15. 6 times 5 is going to be 30. 7 times 5 is going to be 35. 12 times 5 is a little bit bigger, that is going to be 60. So you see how that works out? Now we're going to give you a chance to try it out. We have three different practice problems for you here. In this first one, I've gone ahead and written out the equation here, y equals 4x, and given you five different x values. Go ahead and apply that rule and create the five y values from that equation. In this second problem here, I've given you the equation alone, y equals 6x. Make your own x and y table. Try to use different x values than the ones you see over here on the left. And the third one is probably going to be the most difficult because I've given you the entire table. It is a multiplicative pattern, but I need you to write the equation that matches the table. When you have your answer, go ahead and unpause the video, check your work. This first problem on the left, we are simply taking our x value and multiplying it by 4, because we have 4 times x. So I'm going to multiply 1 times 4 is 4, 3 times 4 is 12, 5 times 4 is 20, 6 times 4 is 24, and then 10 times 4 is 40. In the middle, I chose 5 different x values. I made them each different than the x values in my first problem. If you chose different x values, that's fine. The key here is that it's 6x, which means it's 6 times the x value. So that's going to be 12, 24, 42, 48, and 54. When we're looking at our last problem, we're not going to get much help looking at our first pair, 0 and 0. But when we're looking from 3 to 36, 7 to 84, 10 to 120, and 12 to 144, you'll see that multiplying by 12 gets you from your x to your y. So the equation is going to be y equals 12x.